Welcome to this edition of Majid's Kitchen. And in today's video, I share with you my version of a shrimp and scallop pie or seafood pie for this simple but delicious seafood pie. So I have a hundred mils of stock. Now you can use fish stock or chicken stock for this recipe. I'm using chicken stock here and it's quite concentrated. 350 mils of milk, fresh milk. I've got a cup full, about a cup full of quartered button mushrooms. Half a cup or a, a third of a cup of green onions. And in, in the three year, I have the marapa, which is some carrots, celery, and chopped onions. I have one egg that I will be brushing the pastry with. And this is a puff pastry. It's 200 grams of puff pastry and um, we'll be using this to top our pie off with. Over here I have 250 grams of bay scallops, 150 grams of peeled and deveined shrimp, and 250 grams of rockfish that has been cut into cubes, similar size to the base scallop. I have some white pepper, salt, bay leaves, and I'm using a studded onion, not too much clove, but just a little, and I'll tell you what that's for. Some chopped garlic, you'll need about one clove of garlic, that would be enough. We don't want it to overpower the dish here, but just add a subtle note of flavor. And I have some parsley in there. Now, like I said earlier, I did not go out, so I'm using a dried parsley. This one I actually dried off a fresh bunch of parsley. Um, to be honest, I left it out and uh, Looked a bit wilted the next morning, but I opened it and put it on a tray and within hours it dried beautifully and it has a very fresh aroma. You can really smell that parsley in it, so I'm using that today. We'll be putting this milk into a saucepan with some bay leaves and the studded onion and then I'll be adding the rockfish, the shrimp and the bay scallops. So I'm going to start off uh, first by adding the rockfish and then I'll go in with the bay scallop and then the shrimps and that shouldn't take very long. So you just want a very light poach on these ingredients. Let's start by sauteing our vegetables. Get some butter into a pan. I got my pan on medium heat. Okay, let's go in with our mirepoix. Let's add a bay leaf to that. Lightly season this. A light pinch of salt. So we just want to sauté it lightly so that its onions get a bit translucent. We don't want to, to brown anything at this point. Next we add in our mushrooms.
or the smell of butter, miracle. And you can turn up the heat. Moment. Okay. Go right in here. Add in our studded onion that has cloves in it. So right there. Our milk. Right in there. And we're gonna bring this up to a summer. Again, we're on medium heat. Add in a bay leaf. Now we can add in the fish stock or the chicken stock. Now, give the milk a taste. And what you're looking for is that light flavor of your fish base or chicken base. And you also get the flavor coming from the clove, the bay leaf, and the onion. So I'm gonna add in the rest of this pepper. I'm using white pepper. I put turn down the heat to just under medium. So there's a very gentle simmer going on there. And at this point, we can introduce the seafood. So we'll start off with the rockfish. Just place it there. So we're basically poaching in the smoke. Check your fish if it's too bought and just make sure there's no bones in there because sometimes um, you will find some bones in something that shows or reads that uh, it's cleaned and deboned. So be careful. You can already see that the fish is starting to change color. It's turning white from a pink color, which means and it's about halfway done. Now we'll go in with the scallops. It's been about a minute and a half. So it's a very gentle simmer. So nothing is cooking rapidly. I'm gonna keep it on a very low flame. Put your shrimps in. And as soon as they turn color, we'll remove the pan from the heat and we are going to strain this, submerge them. Yeah. So they're not fully cooked, they're still nice and tender. Beginning to get that nice amber to reddish color. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this studded piece of onion. Okay, I think I lost a clove. There you go. All four cloves are there. The onion. Next step is to add in a tablespoon of butter to a pan on medium heat. Or a teaspoon of flour. Okay. another teaspoon so that's two teaspoons and one more take it off the heat you don't want to burn this so okay. At this stage, we'll be using a whisk. Make sure there's no lumps. 
let's add in our poaching liquid which is our milk so you want it nice and smooth and that will start to thicken as it, as it cooks just go in with the rest of that and keep stirring keep the flame at medium beautiful Here we have our vegetables, that's the onion I cut up to put in there. So let's add in the vegetables to the sauce. Then I'll turn the heat all the way down to low. So we get those veggies in there. Now we have the poached seafood that was in that milk which is now our sauce and I'm just going to take those bay leaves out as I have one or two that were in the vegetables and we're going to add that into and I'm going to turn off the heat and just fold that in nice thick sauce and we'll start working on our ramekins or whatever you decide to use um, getting the pastry ready for that as soon as this is cool we'll be right back let's not forget to add in our parsley Okay, we've had our pastry in the fridge, it's nice and cold, and I'm going to roll it up quickly. A little bit of a roll, and we'll go again this way. Okay. It's time to reveal what we've just made right here on Majid's kitchen. You can use other fish like haddock and salmon 